What is going on everybody and welcome back today for another episode out here on Pure Living for Outdoors. We are out here today to shoot, try to shoot two videos, but we're trying to do. So we've been catching some fish out here on the lake. I'm not going to say where, you might figure it out on your own, I don't know. But when we've been catching fish, I've been seeing a whole bunch of big spoonbill and I've been just dying to drop down and try to hammer one of those on the live scope. So... <clears throat> we brought a big rod and uh of course we got all the crappie gear right here um and we got the live scope and i'm gonna try to catch one of these spoonbill on a live scope so that's what we're out here to do today i don't have a whole lot of time so we're gonna just whatever time permitting um, make a video for the problem today as usual bluebird skies it's 32 degrees outside right now so i'm gonna have to bundle up a little bit but we're gonna go get after them there's no fish in this cove um i'm right here at the ramp i used to fish this cove a lot but for some reason we have a, a hole in the dam and they can't go two foot over freeboard which they were keeping the lake like four but four foot above normal and there was tons and tons of fish in here like five years ago but now we got that leak in the dam and they're keeping the lake at a, at a normal level. They're just, they're not in here anymore. It's just, it's not deep enough or something. I don't know, it's the weirdest thing. They'll come in here come springtime, but they're not here right now. So before we get started on today's little episode, we got a few little things to talk about. Also, before I get into the sponsor, don't forget to pick you up some Circle H hooks and jigs. I got some hair jigs on the way. You guys are gonna be super impressed with those. Go to their website. The link is down below. It's a cir circle H hook, circle H jigs, and they are supreme, dude. I'm telling you, you guys got to get you some, get over to order, use PLFO 10 to get you 20% off. I had to think of it there. PLFO, I'm going to put it right here, 10 to get you 20% off on all the circle H stuff that you got. And also don't forget the snacky lures. Uh, my buddy makes those and, um, they're really, really good baits. All right, on to the sponsor of the video. I'm gonna talk to you guys just for a brief moment about a company that sent me these. All right, so these are the Mid-10, 10 by 42 binoculars. They're dielectric coated. These things are freaking awesome. I mean, it's gonna be really hard for me to let y'all just totally look through them, but um, yeah, it ain't gonna happen. I could see through in the other direction. They ain't working that way. But they also come with this really sweet carrying case that has interchangeable. Velcro stickers you can put on here. You wear this on your chest. Uh, it comes with another set that you can just actually just wear the binoculars. But these things are freaking sweet. They're probably a quarter of the price or half price of the Leopolds. And my buddy has a pair of Leopold 10 by 42 and they're pretty similar, so. They're definitely worth the money. They're on sale right now, I think on Amazon, which I'll put a link in the description. And I think that they're gonna send me a code. So I'm gonna get with them on that and I will insert it right here if there is one. If there's not, they're on sale right now on Amazon. So you can get them, get them there for pretty cheap. But that's all I got for you guys on that. Let's get to fishing. I gotta dress up and we are gonna head out into the water. So I know where we're going. Um, been there um, Sunday, caught um, 30 fish. But I had a friend with me and I didn't do a video, so I wish I had, but I didn't. And uh, forgot all my freaking video equipment anyway, so we're gonna get after it. I'll see you guys at the fishing hole. All right, so I don't normally like to, uh, you know, start videoing until I catch a fish, but <clears throat> we got one. So we're on the board and uh, got 14 more to go. We'll see what happens. This is a good eating size right here. It's a good 12 inch fish. Yeah, he's 12, 12 and a half, maybe. Well, he ain't no 13, but he's over 12. We'll see what we can do. I'm gonna strap you all up on my chest and uh, we'll get after it. All right, I got the GoPro strapped up. Tell y'all a little bit about what I'm using here, real quick. So, I got this bead stopper right here rubber stopper then a bead stopper and i got this three out three eighths ounce weight 
just trying to get down there faster and then I'm using a hand tied squirrel tail black black tip they seem to be liking the black so there's some fish over here and there's some fish down here too A lot of sand bass in here. So, right there's a crappie though. That might be a catfish. That was a catfish. A ton underneath this dock. Wind's blowing me into the bank. I don't want my boat to get hit on them rocks. And I missed it. Finally got my opportunity and I missed it. <laughs> oh, I chased that fish forever. Got that one. I got a problem. My jig's coming undone. It's gonna go back to the lake. Yeah, that one's over 10. I only like to keep fish around 10 to 11 inches. Anything after that, we, we throw them back. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. That one right there is in the keeper pile, I think, if it goes over 10.
I got that one. <clears throat> Had my bait the whole time, I didn't even know it. <sighs> Catching some good fish today. We got the one big, big, and then a bunch of this sized. We need to figure out how many we got. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, there's four. One, two. Shoot, I don't know. Got him. This is the eating size I like. So there's 15. about the size I like to keep right here so a <sighs> lively one I figure out which one we're gonna throw back here That was two fish. I thought it was just one. It's all right though. We're, we aren't keeping anymore. Let's turn this one the big one loose. Got our pitcher with her. Let's let her go. Well, maybe you aren't going back. Unfortunately, she don't seem to be doing so swell. Let's put her back in here for a little bit. Well, we tried to let her go. It sucks. Put her in the live well so she could kind of get back to 
being acclimated so she wouldn't do that well we're done for the day and um we got our limit i had to throw a couple back um ended up having to keep the big one i'm i'm gonna try to turn him loose whenever i get back to the boat ramp but he ain't doing i don't know he or she one whatever it is isn't doing so swell so but look at this look at this locator i mean fish are just stacked in here i mean you can see them They're everywhere this is by far the best day i've had in here for sure uh, i hate to even leave it's really one of the best days to be out but uh, got to go get my boys one-year-old shots we we did it already but we got it done like right on his birthday and we didn't want to had to give him six shots and we didn't want to give him six shots at once so we're going back to get his last three today so we did three last time and three today but kills me having to give them shots just i don't know something about it i hate seeing them cry but anyways we're done for the day hope you guys enjoyed the video we've been out here i don't even know what all i got on camera um, but i needed to get a video out i'm trying to at least do one every three or four days at least and uh just haven't been getting to fish as much as i'd like uh spring break fell right on this seven off so we're gonna i spent most of this seven off with my family and a we may be leaving to go uh, to Branson this evening, so I may not get to fish again the rest of the week. So this video will be posted, and it'll be my next days off before I can get another video out. So that's all I got for you guys. Until next time, don't forget, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, all that other good stuff, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.